greatest inventions ever imagined didn't happen because we had all the answers. They happened because we had audacious questions. And sometimes those questions change the trajectory of life as we know it, like it did for me at 14 years old. I'm lying on the living room floor watching this flickering little black and white TV. And I watch a gray grainy figure descend a ladder and plant a boot in the lunar dust. And it blows my mind. I am so excited. I jump up, run outside, and right there, over me is the moon, no longer distant and mysterious, but touchable. And I'm in awe of the impossible made possible by human ingenuity. And that excites me so much, but at the same time, I think, oh, well, that's kind of not for me. I, I don't belong in a room full of scientists and engineers and mathematicians. I'm, I'm in eighth grade. I hate math. <laughs> but at the same time, I realize that those people, the smartest people in the room with the biggest calculators, wouldn't be there if not for those of us who are willing to dream, to imagine, to envision a future that others can't see. And it's that realization that shapes my whole career. It drives me to evangelize computers to companies that had never owned one before, and to explain about the World Wide Web to people who had never been online before. And it's that enthusiasm over what I can see coming that has brought me here to you today. Because we're at a turning point. This is one of those moments where everything changes everything. And you have the opportunity to be a catalyst of that change with artificial intelligence. Computers have always been good at doing what they're programmed to do. And then we gave them high level sophisticated statistics to find patterns in data and make predictions. Today, we've taught them how to reason and speak and help us think. We're moving from enhanced automation to advanced imagination. And that gives you an invitation to use artificial intelligence because artificial intelligence can be your imagination crucible. And let me tell you what I mean. A crucible is a vessel that harnesses intense heat to purify and transform material. But it's more than that. It's also a journey. It's a challenge that you thrive through, you break through, you become different out the other end. And that's what AI is. It's a challenge for you. It is a transformational opportunity. Your imagination cauldron you can, you can take random, untamed, messy ideas and purify them and turn them into something amazing. And the majority of people are missing this opportunity because they're just using artificial intelligence to automate tasks. They are writing emails, they're summarizing reports, they are, they're writing software, and they're doing it faster and better, and that's great, I'm all for expediency but they're not thinking bigger. Artificial intelligence doesn't think like we do. It doesn't reason like we do. It doesn't invent like we do. Sometimes it just hallucinates. And that's what makes it the single most important technology to come along since, well, you name it. This is the turning point. This is where Education is changing, industries are transforming, and innovation is accelerating. And you can be a part of that through creativity, which is not magic. It's not doled out more to some and less than others. It's play. Even animals know how to play. Now, as we become adults, we kind of have play drummed out of us. So you need something to help you boost your creativity. And that's where AI comes in. Because 
you can try out random bizarre ideas endlessly. And the more you use your creativity, the better you get at it. You just have to ask outrageous questions. Be daring. You just have to ask the right kind of questions. I call them the three catalyst questions. These are the blast furnace that transform and purify dreams and ideas into new innovations. The three catalyst questions. Number one, the limitless question. What if? Asking what if, it just it's, it gives you freedom. It lets you think way outside the box. It, it lets you imagine and think about things that you might assume are impossible or absurd. And AI is a great place for creativity. Creativity thrives here because artificial intelligence doesn't judge. It doesn't mock. It doesn't care if your ideas are logical and reasonable and feasible or not. It just plays along with you endlessly. Think about the evolution of creativity. Let's start with asking, what if the burr that stuck to your dog's fur could be imitated and mimicked and turned into a fabric fastener? That's what George de Mestrel was thinking when he invented Velcro. What if galaxies and coral reefs could be used to inspire 3D wearable art? That's what Iris Van Men Melbourne was thinking when she created this amazing, mind-blowing fashion with AI and 3D printing. What if elements and compounds could be designed instead of discovered. That's what Microsoft is doing. They're inventing and creating new materials for solar panels and batteries. Imagine asking, what if clothing could adapt to body heat? What if a building could heal itself after a natural disaster? What if a road could recharge an electric car as it drives. These limitless questions unlock wild new ideas that will move the world forward. The second kind of catalyst question is the opposite of that. It's the limiting question. The, but what about, because creativity it's not just freedom to think, it's also constraints. Constraints force you to solve problems in very specific limited restrictions. You have to think sharper. But what about making it fit in a briefcase? That's how desktop computers became laptops. But what about making it robust enough to survive on a distant planet? That's how NASA created Mars rovers. But what about making it so inexpensive that millions of more people could take advantage of it? That's how Amos Winter figured out how to cut the cost of creating artificial legs by 90% by redesigning from scratch. Imagine asking, but what about making it biodegradable? But what about making it in half the price and half the weight? What about making it in half the time? These limiting questions are the ones that make your creativity work harder. The third catalyst question is unorthodox. How can we flip the script? Asking how can we flip the script challenges all assumptions, breaks through. It, it challenges beliefs. It breaks rules. Consider, can we flip a regular airplane propeller sideways, you get a helicopter. Can we put something else in an inkjet printer cartridge? We can, and you get 3D printing. Can we stop fighting against bacteria? Use it instead, and you get probiotics. Imagine asking, can we store information in living tissue instead of machinery? 
can we create systems and machines that can repair themselves? Can we teleport building materials? These are the ideas that break through assumptions so you can invent the future. By asking these three questions, the limitless question, like, make you think bigger, what if? The limiting question, how does this work in the real world, but what about? And the unorthodox question, to break through assumptions, can we flip the script? That's how you can move from enhanced automation to advanced imagination. You can have artificial intelligence be your imagination crucible. This is your moment. This is your time to embrace artificial intelligence, to, to harness artificial intelligence, to ignite your creativity and invent the future. I dare you to imagine what's next. Thank you.